In this video, I will show you how to convert a PayPal personal account into a PayPal business account. My name's Anthony Allen, welcome here to my YouTube channel. I upload three different types of content, gaming, editing, and online money. This PayPal video will be in my online money playlist, along with other online money videos that you will find interesting if you've clicked this video here. So hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. And remember, if you have any questions after you've watched this video all the way through to the end and soaked up all of that value, remember that you can get in touch with me in the comment section down below. And I, or a member of the Anthony Allen community, will help you even further. Now that we've covered that, I'm going to share my screen with you. I'm going to show you how to convert a PayPal personal account into a PayPal business account. Once you've logged in, to your PayPal personal account, you will need to visit the settings page. You can find the settings page by selecting this gear icon in the top right hand corner of the screen. In order to complete this process, you will need to log in to your personal PayPal account via the official PayPal website. I advise following along with a desktop device for the best results. This will help you when following along with this video as you will see the same similar pages even if PayPal have updated the look and feel of their website. When you are on this page, the settings page, you will need to click this button down below where it reads, convert to a business account. Select this now. Converting your personal PayPal account into a business account gives you more features on PayPal. You will now have less limitations on your PayPal account when you are trying to connect PayPal with third party applications and or creating invoices and other forms of receiving money into your PayPal account. For example, PayPal buttons. At this point, you want to enter a business name. Do not worry if your business does not yet have a name or have a legal registered name as you may be new to your business or receiving money online as an individual. Maybe you're a freelancer working on a freelancing website or multiple freelancing websites. Maybe you're just getting started as a sole trader or maybe you're an affiliate marketer. If this is the case for you and you don't have a business name, what you would need to do is to enter your name. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to enter the name of a business which is not yet a reality or established. But in doing this, we are letting PayPal know that this is what this business account is intended for. Once you're happy with this, scroll down and double check the information of your business address and phone number. If you do not have a individual business address, of course, enter your home address. And if you do not have a business number, you would need to enter your phone number. The reason why this is important is because if you're going to order a PayPal business card, this is where your card will be sent. And of course, anything in regards to your PayPal business account, if PayPal need to contact you by mobile, this is where they will phone or text, for example, when logging in with two-step verification. If you would like to know more about a PayPal business debit card and how you can use this debit card to withdraw and more, then I have uploaded videos in my online money playlist that you should check out after watching this video all the way through until the end. Once you're happy with the information you have given, including the business number, business name and business address, and you are happy with the electronic communications delivery policy and the user agreement privacy statement, and you have clicked to agree to these statements, then of course you hit the button down below which reads agree and convert account. PayPal will now ask you to describe your business and it's looking to find out what type of business type you have. When you click the drop down menu, just to give you an idea of the different types of businesses that can use PayPal business accounts, we have individual, sole owner, partnership, and private company. If you are selling a service, for example, consulting, 
or if you're selling your services as a freelancer on a marketplace such as Fiverr or Upwork, then you want to select individual. For anything else, if you're not sure, contact me in the comment section down below. At this point, you want to define what type of services or products you sell. You cannot type products such as t-shirts, as you'll see, this does not appear in the menu. But if you cannot find what you're looking for, then of course to select something that is similar or as close as possible as to what you are selling online or the type of business products you provide online and what you will be receiving payments for in your PayPal account. When you're doing this, this will lift various limits on your PayPal account. For the purpose of this video, we're going to select professional services. On the next page, PayPal will want to confirm some of the information you have given, for example, phone number and address. And once you have confirmed this and click continue, you have now successfully converted your personal PayPal account into a PayPal business account. Congratulations. So that is how you convert a PayPal personal account into a PayPal business account. If you found this video helpful at all, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe here to the Anthony Allen YouTube channel for all things Anthony Allen. Remember, I currently upload content around three main niches, gaming, editing, and like this video, online money. I have a playlist called online money and this video will be within that playlist along with other online money videos. But don't click away, I've got more content for you that you will find interesting and or helpful and that content will be in the end screen and that end screen is coming up right about now. I'll see you in the next video.